welcome back to my channel. I hope you're good. This video continuing on from the last one where I tested two Vista resins. I'm testing another two in today's video. Let's go. I'm using exactly the same mold as I did in the last video. This is Molds and Shapes that will be linked below. The first resin we have here is Vista Rapids. Now, Vista Rapids is your top coating resin. It's a two to one, 24 hour cure for shallow pores and top coating only. So it's really not mm, designed for alcohol ink dropping. The second resin is Vista Turbo, five hour cure, my absolute go-to resin. It is a two to one again and yeah, I absolutely love it because it's such a fast cure. You can literally create a project so, so fast. So the one on the right here is Vista Rapids. You can see how thick it is compared to the turbo on the left, but very similar to the one-to-one -one actually. So here we are. I'm just doing exactly what I did in the last video. We're creating five of each resin and we're going to be dropping the alcohol ink at 10 minute intervals all the way up to 40 minutes. So that will be... 50 minutes from the original alcohol ink drop. Now, I've just said it, but I'll say it one more time. These two resins are not specifically designed and catered for alcohol ink dropping due to their nature in use. One is for super shallow pores and the other one is a super fast fast setting resin and this is what I was most worried about because the turbo cures in five hours I wasn't sure if by the 40 minute mark it would have kind of half set on itself do you know so yeah I was a little bit worried about these I'm doing exactly what I did in the last video and that is just to use my silicon tool to run around all of those little inside edges those 90 degree edges where the bubbles tend to get trapped I'm just wiping my silicon tool off before using it again on the second resin I don't want these resins to mix I do use a little bit of heat but I don't heat them up too much because I don't want them to change the actual resin itself. I don't want it to water it down or kind of cure it faster than it needs to be cured because I don't have much time with the turbo. And here we are. We are going for a very, very, very light, no more than this, very light, and then put your heat gun away because you, like I said, you don't want to do too much. I'm going for bright colors in this one. I'm almost out of alcohol inks. This is the very first drop. Now, initially it's spreading, it's dispersing across the whole surface, which is really good. And I'm just gonna add the yellow. I'm going for yellow, pink and purple because like I said, I'm almost out of alcohol inks and all my blues have gone. <laughs> so I had to choose three colors that were hopefully gonna work well together. For every drop of the color, I'm adding a drop of white. And yeah, my first initial thoughts were, this resin is responding very similarly to the resin in the last video and yeah it's spreading it's doing everything it should be doing and I'm doing two layers again I want to keep it as consistent and as similar to the very first video so we're just doing two drop layers two layers of color two layers of white etc so 10 minutes in and already I'm seeing a difference I'm seeing that it's not spreading as much as it did on the immediate ink drop. And I'm kind of half expecting this. I'm half expecting this because these resins are so different to the resins used in the previous video, which was Vista One and Vista Cascade. They are designed for maybe one centimeter, two centimeter deep pores. So I knew they were going to respond different. They were going to react differently. Um, but yeah, there was definitely visually you guys could have seen it as well. The, the first alcohol drop just did not kind of disperse. So I do end up having to fill a little gap in the middle with a little additional red. 20 minute mark, same kind of thing. I didn't notice too much of a difference between the 10 minute mark and the 20 minute mark. And I would say that was similar in the last video as well with the Vista One and Cascade. Didn't see much of a difference, but here, look at the gap in the middle is huge <laughs> so it's definitely by now not spreading it's not going far at all and yeah trying to find the vocabulary to fill the gaps <laughs> I did what I did on the last one I just added a little bit of extra pink in the middle and just filled them up as well and then went in with my second coat so like I said 
everything here is just getting two layers, no more. And kind of once I've decided what my absolute favorite resin, alcohol ink and time is, that's when I'm going to then be able to go on and do more projects using that technique, using that resin, leaving the resin for 10, 20 minutes and, and kind of, you know, get into grips with what it is, what is the optimum, most perfect time to drop the ink and what resin works best. 30 minute mark, huge difference, huge. This ink is going nowhere, <laughs> absolutely nowhere. So I just did what I did on the others. I filled the gaps up and hoped for the best. It really was quite runny still at this point because I kind of just tested the ends with a cocktail stick. So it was, it was still runny. So I knew it would take the alcohol ink and the alcohol ink wouldn't just sit on the top. Um, but either way, it's certainly a different for sure. I ran out of white at this point. Um, so you do see me kind of starting my alcohol ink drop and then I ended up having to go in afterwards and use some more on that but here we are at the 40 minute mark very similar to the 30 minute mark one thing I've definitely noticed with these two resins is they they respond very similar again together they look identical to each other there's nothing crazy different about the top row and the second row they're almost responding the same way so yeah of course this is voiceover claire so i know the results <laughs> i think this is probably where i ran out of the white i can't even remember maybe my editing has got better and i actually edited it all out so here we are <laughs> again just filling in the gaps i really did want to speed up <laughs> i really wanted to speed this up for you guys because i know that sitting through this in real time is just not really the one but okay look an overview an overview of all of this is that they all look the same. There's not been much movement. There's not been, been much dancing and playing. And you know when the alcohol inks just all merge in together and just go crazy and it's really visually wonderful to watch and you could just sit and watch it for hours? <laughs> this didn't happen. This did not happen. I, I didn't get that feeling here. So here is my professional chart. And you would have seen this in the last video. I'm just crossing out the Vista 1 and Cascade and I'm replacing it with Rapids and Turbo. So top row was Vista Rapids, bottom row Vista Turbo. And for the purposes of speed, I am literally demolding and placing them all out on the card. And then we're going to take a close up look like we did in the last video. Otherwise, we could be here for hours. And my initial thoughts were, mm, they're all the same. <laughs> they're all the same. To me, they all look the same, but with very subtle differences. Do they have that wow alcohol ink impact? No. Are they gorgeous? Yes, in my eyes, I am sorry. I still think they're beautiful, but not in the alcohol ink wow factor way. They're beautiful in their own way. Not sure the alcohol ink played much role here. Now we're going to get to the close-ups. So this is that top row, which I believe was the Vista Rapids. This is the immediate pour and the 10 minute mark. Not much difference. However, the 10 minute mark definitely has a little something, something that the immediate pour doesn't. And we're going back to getting more of these cells, a lot of this kind of coral reef fabric looking, this thready fabric. That's all I can describe it as really. And then the 10 to 20 minute mark, again, not much difference, not much difference. And definitely nothing like the two resins that I tried in the last video where I, I had that, oh my goodness, wow, kind of feeling. I'm not getting that with these. Again, fully expected because these resins are not designed for it, but we're here. We might as well test all the resins just to see. I do love this one. I do really love this one. I think it's really beautiful in its own way. As we moved through to the 30 minute mark and the 40 minute mark, we started to get dark again. So the purple and the yellow merged. We've got this almost moldy, <laughs> dare I say moldy. We've got a moldy green, a lovely, beautiful shade of moldy green. Um, yeah. This one here is the 40 minute mark 
and it has probably got more detail than all of the others if I'm honest but nothing spectacularly wow there's no depth these have no depth compared to the last two resins there's no depth here there's nothing that draws your eye in there's nothing that makes me want to stare at them for hours and just you know look deep inside them moving on to vista turbo this is the immediate pour not that dissimilar yeah not that dissimilar to the rapids in fact i'd say they were the same resin at this point um maybe the yellow was more vibrant but maybe I poured more yellow, you know, again, no, no significant differences, nothing to write home about, pretty in their own way, but nothing to write home about, so I'm just gonna show you through the rest of the turbos now, very generic, very similar to the last, they all look very much the same, I'm still very glad, I'm really happy that I still went ahead and I did the video, I'm showing you the results anyway, because a few of you have said, you know, you're really looking forward to this video, because you have those resins at home, and you were thinking about doing the alcohol ink drop, so if this video does help you, then that's all good for me, even if one person asks me for a video, i do tend to try and do that video um so yeah i hope these results have given you an informed choice you're going to be able to make an informed choice about the resin you use because quite frankly like deep down in my soul i love these results and i think a little bit of white vinyl detail because these still give me sunset tropical feels you know i can see palm trees i can see like a silhouette of a turtle i still think they will make beautiful pendants in their own right but here we are moving through to the 40 minute mark they're all the same <laughs> they're all the same there really is not a significant difference in them so I didn't go into too much detail in them but let me know which ones you think are your favorites and out of last videos and this videos all four resins now that I've tested I haven't tried the Vista Deep Pores because no point and I haven't tried Vista UV resin. I've bought some now, which is great. I'm looking forward to using it, but I'm not gonna try that with this technique because there's kind of no point. So I'm just going through now, showing you the differences between the Rapids and the Turbo. Really no, can I say it again? I don't wanna keep repeating myself here, guys, but no significant wows, no significant wows. I feel like if I wanted to create something pretty, sunsetty, kind of tropical, and I didn't have much time, then I could quite happily go in and use a Vista Turbo at the 10 minute mark again, maybe 10 or 15 minute mark for Vista Turbo. If I was in a hurry, I needed something for tomorrow, then yes, I would go in with Vista Turbo at the 10 minute mark and create something for that night even, you know, because it cures so fast. But I probably wouldn't you know what I'm saying <laughs> out of the whole video I have to say the 10 minute mark on the turbo is my favorite anywhere between the 10 minute and 20 minute mark this one here is my favorite I still think they're all pretty in their own right I hope you found this video helpful I hope it's gonna allow you to make an informed choice when it comes to all of your Vista resins for me it would have to be Vista Cascade at the 10 minute mark 20 minute mark because mmm that was the sweet spot for me out of all of these four resins. I hope you found it helpful and I'm going to end the video with some close-ups of my faves because I still love them. I still love them and I'm glad I did this so that we can all learn from it. We all now know what the results could or could look like, might look like, may look like. Yeah. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you found it helpful and I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Look out, here she comes The woman that I love It's too bad she'll never know Yeah, I can't tell her how I feel Because she has someone who makes her happy I'm a ghost in these walls Or at least I try to be I hope that I'm not showing how I feel for her But she won't feel the same for me I've got this picture in my mind 
It's just the two of us, just the two of us. But I know I have to try, try to let her go, because she won't be mine. I listen when she talks, I watch her when she walks. She's giving me these feelings that I've never felt before. But she will never know that I love her so well. She's with somebody else and I will have to let her go. She will never know, na na, never know, na na. She will never know. Like she stole my heart Without knowing she did But I guess that it will pass Yeah, I can't be the only one Who got lost inside the blue of those eyes I've gotta let her go I know it won't be easy I wanna hold her close Try, try as hard as I can Cause she'll never be mine I listen when she talks I watch her when she walks She's giving me these feelings That I've never felt before But she will never know That I love her so well She's with someone